just come here, there's plenty of room for tents. Let's do the focus thing. What do you think? Is that good exposure? The tent's a little blown out, but... Uh, don't worry about the tent. I mean, the, they'll, they'll see a tent back there. That's all they need to do. It's just, you know, an object. We're not selling the, we're not selling the tent. We're selling our story. Okay, so... Oh, this is your show now. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're on. Are we on? Yeah. Okay, so this is Pete from the Pete and Ray Pathways show on YouTube, which is an excellent show that you need to go look up, subscribe, and like all the videos and check it all out. And so I'm going to hand this over before we do the three question interview format. I'm just going to hand it over to Pete to just talk a little bit about how he is camping out here for the retreat in Mount Shasta. The reason why I like to camp is because it's the most basic thing you can do to go do these retreats. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, you want to spend the money in a hotel, that's fine. But I'm trying to reach out to people that can't afford it. Or they just enjoy camping, and it's more closer to the mothership Earth, um, and also it's also uh, how should I, should I say it's more organic to me. So I'm doing this organically, one person, one mind at a time. So if you want to go camping, that's fine, uh, because they can't tell you they can't they can't tell you when camping or not. It's like the hotel, you close your eyes, you can't tell, right? It's the same thing. So that's why I go camping, and also. My team, we, we love going camping. We go out to the field, we camp, and we have a little slumber party with the ETs. Why not? A couple of days under the, under the stars. You know, we leave the tent door jar, come on in. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. That's why I, that's why I like going camping. Awesome. Yeah. And what, where's the, what's the name of the tent, the campsite here? We're, so we're in Mount Shasta, and it's called the Friendly. We're at Mount Shasta. And this is the this is Weed, California, which is not Weed, Weed, Weed. It's, it's it's the name of a person that did the did, did, did the uh, lumber mill. The name is um, Friendly RV Camping, Friendly RV Camp. It's made for RVs, but there's plenty of room for tents. They allow tents in here, and we have a, a restroom. We have a microwave. We have the grocery outlet down the ways you know I just microwave something there's a microwave in the uh, laundry thing which I didn't I was surprised so it's just kind of like lamping but you know at, at less at less cost because you know you're only in a hotel for eight hours or less or whatever yeah, right like it, and it's the same result it's dark it's dark <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Okay, so my, my first question to you is what advice would you give to people just starting out with ET contact my first advice would be is to to learn how to meditate. Um, there's meditation schools out there. I went to one in San Diego. It's a yoga place, and they taught meditation for free. You can actually learn this for free. That's number one. Or number two is you can learn on your own. There's plenty of how to meditate on the net. That's the first thing you should do. That's uh, the foundation. It's like it's like the grammar. When, if you want to be a writer, you got to know the grammar. So this is kind of basic about how we communicate to these beings. So when you meditate and you can be quiet, um, that's that's what I recommend. Is to start with that, and then it, it'll just it'll just kind of grow from there. Excellent. Yeah, you you have to like be the example. Yeah. Okay, so my second question is, uh, what does your average contact night look like? Our average co contact uh, night, uh, okay, this is what we do in San Diego. We have people that are married. So we, we start, as soon as it gets dark, and when 11 o'clock goes around, the pumpkin happens. They have to go home. They have to go home to the wives, the warden, whatever, <laughs> because they have their lives, right? That's fine. Then second shift comes in. People that want to stay overnight, we continue on. The next day, on Sunday, the campsite gets empty. There's nobody there. So that's when other people would join that can meditate even longer. So you get more results because, one, 
there's nobody there to, to interfere with the, with the data. Two, the ETs only show up if you're not afraid. And I have a feeling most campers are not on board with this phenomenon. So it's a great idea to, to be in an empty site. And that's when we have the most profound stuff that happens. Cool. The twin ship showed up one time during the shutdown. And it's two large basketball orbs. There was only four of us. Wow. Um, that was in 2013. And it reappeared just two months ago. But the sky left for a couple of years. It came back and it showed up again. It was like a reunion. Yeah. And this, this one team, I think, had it also, maybe. So. Cool. Okay, so you go camping and go for two nights? Um, you do Saturday, Sunday? <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, for sure. <coughs> Since I'm retired, I, I start on Thursday. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't, I don't like do the CE five on Thursday. I'm, I'm exhausted because I take the bike oh, to the God. campsite, wow. and it's 14 miles from the bus stop. So we have a rule, a rural bus that gets there, but it's 14 miles up. So um, I'm exhausted the first night. Oh, my gosh. I'm allowed, to, I'm allowed to be exhausted. Yeah. I'm a senior. <laughs> I get the senior discount. You know, if I get 40 percent off, 40 percent, no, 62. I get 62 percent off the workout. So I get to rest the first night. So the Friday rolls around, and some people may, may come up Friday if they want. But most most people show up on a Saturday and Sunday when when they. A lot of people the Sunday they're, they're either in the uh, restaurant business or real estate business or you know the weekend folks. Excellent. Okay, my third question for you is, um, what's your story? Okay, the story is, my brother had questions about flying saucers and of course I didn't have the answers like oh I don't I, I need evidence because I've been a jury I've been picked for jury duty all the time you always go for bits of steps and information that's reliable so I stumbled onto a 2001 disclosure project by a well-known person and that's when I realized oh there's something going on because we have pilots we have military folks we have you know we have pretty straight-laced, boring people <laughs> that are reporting these things. So I think I, at, that, at that point, I, I thought there's something going on. And then I found out who made the video. And this person meditates. And I thought, oh, my God, what a loony. So I turned it off for two weeks, <laughs> really. It's like so I was raised in a very left brain, very logical, materialist, reductionist uh, schooling. So then I... I figured, wait a minute, I heard, I heard about these religious experiences and even Moses and all these other guys and Jesus. And I was like, well, maybe there's something to this thing. Maybe there's something to this. So I went back and I realized, oh, it's a meditation. It's something beyond the physical. Um, uh, I mean, this is all related somehow, even with out-of-body experiences and near-death experiences. That's why I, I, you know, this Dr. Evans had his near-death experience. And I realized, oh, a neurosurgeon, he's pretty left brain. But he went somewhere and came back. So it's back to the science of consciousness. This phenomena is really the foundation is the science of consciousness. So that's why meditation is so important for the contact work, for the experience that you'll get from this. It's, you can see all the lights you want, but you're not going to gain anything if, the, if you're not transferring information. Transferring information, describe that. What does that mean? Transferring information um, from these visitations, from these beings. Um, communication. Communication. Uh, downloads of information. Some people get downloads of, uh, of uh, you know, the environment, uh, the, taking care of the earth. Um, some people may have, some people may have even more severe downloads when they get pulled off involuntarily. We know the stories, but um, yeah, it's that's all about the human contact and experience. But the light show is good because we have people that are not on board yet. And we always get a light show at San Diego uh, for newcomers because, you know, they're new. I understand. It's understandable. A new a new shiny toy, right? Yeah. But there's only so much of that you can do. And then you get bored and you realize there must be more to this than just a shiny toy. Yes. Who's driving the shiny toy? <laughs> exactly. Right. And that, that will happen one day. And, you know, now that they're doing this as a group, the Navy and the uh, FAA, I believe, is coming out and saying it's okay to report these things. 
they're probably they're probably re reading our reports. They're probably they're probably shifting, looking through our Facebook things with all our little Wondering. testimony. Yeah, well, these people are out there doing the woo woo and things show up, you know. And, and it's not like we're really going to destroy the world or take over anything. It's all about you know your intention and your love and your, you know, like meditation is going to kill you. No, it's going to threaten you, take your property away. No, it may improve you. It has improved my ability to catch the bus. Oh, that's good, really? It's amazing. Yeah, I, I don't need the schedule. All of a sudden, oh, it's coming. It's there. Oh, cool. So it has applications. Neat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Wow, that's awesome. And every time you go on the field, you do get a little bit of upgrade because you sometimes you get a little flash over the group and uh, people, ESP picks up. Some people get healed. Like in this case, we had mm -hmm. with our thing here, somebody got healed in this get together retreat. Good things happen. Good things happen. There's no probing. There's no, there's no, there's no, what do they call it? Abductions. Do you know much about abductions? Is it something, like to me, I haven't heard anyone talk about an abduction for like a long time. Right, right. I feel like it's a thing of the past. It, it's because, um, yeah. I mean, because people are taking more data. Just uh, take, take, for instance, Ray Hernandez uh, did a book on, uh, um, um, it's a thick book about UFOs. Uh, it's oh, beyond UFOs. Beyond UFOs. This excellent book. It, 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 it's a it's a accumulation of many people of experiencers, doctors, uh, science of consciousness. Uh, it's kind of like a handbook. It's like the Marx handbook in engineering. This is the Marx handbook yeah, of you. Yes, of the UFO phenomena. It has every. It's a it's a recipe book. It's like the the joy of cooking, right? This is the joy of UFOs. Okay, <laughs> it's huge, gigantic, and there's a second buying coming up. Wow. this October. So he's. Oh. He's on it, I think. He's on to something, and he has numbers, his statistics numbers. Um, so, so you, so you've been running a group in San Diego for how long? Is this with Ray or? or no, no, Ray, come Ray actually comes in later. Okay. Um, it's been since um, I met the Costa 2012, did the Greer thing. I actually opened up shop 2013. Six people show up. It's amazing. It was it was well balanced. It was C5 San Diego 1.0. We had two psychics on board. Nice. We had a hist uh, history guy. We had a near-death experience guy. And we had a guy that had visitations as a child. And me, I'm just the pimp. <laughs> I know how to organize get people, together. get it all together, uh, you know, crack the whip, you know, you know engineer planning, you know. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got you to gotta tell them what to do. They'll get a little la-la, you know, oh, doing my own. Just, I, I just kind of told the line a little bit. And so, how did you get into the video channel? Uh, it was it was because I needed a, I needed a um, a camera guy. So, this person called Ray was, was on my Facebook feed, and I just, and she, you know she kept talking back and forth, and she mentioned she went to one of the retreats, and she I find I found out she really didn't, and I was like, there's no pictures. Like, who is this person? You know, who is this bitch? Who is this guy? Who knows? I don't know who this person is. So I just blocked it. Block that person. <laughs> then a year later, I went to the the Rama group, the Enrique Villanueva group, and then I got to meet this person Ray at the at the table. And I and said, "Oh, you're the Ray. You're the one I blocked for a year." <laughs> so I told her the story. And then later on, a year later, she says, "Hey, Pete, you know, let's do a video." And she mentioned that, "Hey, let's do this uh, series of uh, videos of how to, how to because she comes from a background of education, or they do videos." Uh, she was an artist, taught how to do artwork. She was, she painted murals. Her brother worked with animals in the uh, in the movie industry. So they, they, I didn't know that. All of a sudden, bam! The universe says, "No, Pete, you're going this route," because everybody's doing videos anyway, right? <laughs> so I'm going the other route. Okay, fine. Well, education route. Teach kids. Teach adults. Anybody that's out there that can breathe. Uh, yeah. That's Excellent. And okay. it's, that so was, how, so yeah. how do they find you? So you just go to YouTube and go to YouTube. You just, just look for uh, just just type in the Pete, and the letter N Ray R A E, Pathways Show, and there we are. We have a couple of videos on how to make contact, and we also interview people um, that segues into the for Pete's sake show. Oh okay. Yeah, we have like you know uh, um, Enrique and. Tells a story, or Max from Russia, and, and then every time my punchline is when they when they said they saw these beans, I says, "Well, for Pete's sakes, tell me more." <laughs> I mean, 
people don't think think I'm serious. You know, people say, you know, in, in the UFO world, you gotta be real serious. Like, you know, it's like those Jesus things, you know, like, ooh. <laughs> but you can laugh. You can enjoy this. I mean, for Pete's sakes, why not? I mean, I think they have a sense of humor. These visitations, they're looking at us. Look at these monkeys. Look, they're killing each other, running around because I moved the I moved the cup across the table. <laughs> <laughs> they have a sense of humor too. Yeah, and it's like it's, it's it's good. Go, I always go the opposite direction. A little humor, a little humor will make you remember how to do something. Absolutely right. Of course, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Pete. Any last words? Any gold nugget for gold nuggets? Viewers? Consistent. If you can do contact work, be consistent. Yeah. It's like it's like learning an instrument. You got to practice. And it's good to teach other people because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. It's organic. Teach other people. They'll, they'll make their own teams. In fact, I had two guys that formed their own teams uh, already. So, so I, always, I always say, Mama Chan is done with you. Get the hell out of the nest. <laughs> make your own team. This is not a cult. <laughs> awesome. We're to a cult. I know a few people, <laughs> but we're not a cult. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you so much, Pete. <coughs> How I so you? appreciate it. That's fun. I'll see you at the next contact. Bye.